Hey, watch the ball. Here it comes. Whoa, that was a good one. All right. This is six-year-old Matthew Fong. At age five, Matthew's parents were told by their doctor that this seemingly active and normal boy was likely to suffer a stroke. When Matthew was three, he began having unexplained episodes of weakness. He would actually tell us, he would say, Daddy, my leg feels funny or my arm feels funny. And we would notice a, a limp when he walked. He couldn't walk. Matthew was having transient ischemic attacks, or mini-strokes, on both sides of his body. The episodes were becoming worse and more frequent. Finally, after dozens of tests, an MRI scan of Matthew's brain showed a serious and rare disease called Moya Moya. The neurologist who diagnosed the problem called, called me uh, into his office and uh, told me what the, what, uh, the diagnosis was. And uh, he said uh, nothing could be done for Matthew, and Matthew would be susceptible to having a stroke. And that just really floored me, devastated me. And I said, are you sure that nothing could be done? And he said he wouldn't recommend any surgery or medication. Um, that they were just doing experimental. They were doing experimental surgery, and he would not recommend it because it was too risky. Yeah. Moya Moya is a rare disease where the blood vessels at the base of the brain gradually clot off so the normal blood supply to the brain is blocked. The cause of this disease is not understood. What happens then, in a desperate attempt to grow new channels for the brain's needed blood supply, many tiny vessels begin to enlarge and proliferate. On an angiogram, these vessels look like a puff of smoke, the meaning of Moya Moya in Japanese. Moya Moya disease causes two problems. It causes transient ischemic attacks and stroke because not enough blood gets through to the brain as the vessels clot off. And secondly, the abnormal Moya Moya vessels are very fragile and they can bleed, causing a hemorrhage. Call the ducks, Matthew. I decided to get a second opinion because I, I just couldn't stand the thought of not doing anything and uh, just waiting for Matthew to have a stroke. So uh, we contacted the doctors at Stanford and mainly just to get more information about the disease, not really to find a cure. The Fongs were referred to Dr. Steinberg at the Stanford Stroke Center. Their situation was a familiar one. Not much is known about the disease in general medical circles because it's so rare and it's only at centers like Stanford that there's a good understanding of what kind of treatments are available. Medical treatments, including various drug therapy for Moya Moya, are not effective, and, and that is well known. But I think it's not commonly known that there are some very good surgical treatments for Moya Moya disease that are quite effective in decreasing the risk of stroke in these patients. The first time that Dr. Steinberg uh, told us that it was possible to treat Matthew's condition, um, it was, we were shocked because everything that we had heard before was that the Matthew's condition was untreatable. So when he said that, and especially when he said uh, the surgery was relatively low risk, uh, it was like, it was like a, a gift from heaven. Yeah. We were very concerned that this was going to be experimental surgery and that Matthew would be used as a guinea pig, and he put us at ease immediately that no, this was not experimental surgery. It had been successful. He had done several, very, you know, quite a few of them, and everything, you know, worked out very well. So we were, we felt really good right away, just, just even talking to him. The way we treat Moya Moya disease is to create a new blood flow to the brain. And in Matthew's case, what we did was to take a blood vessel from his scalp, a superficial temporal artery and under the microscope to sew that artery to an artery on the surface of his brain using very fine suture and so we create a new channel from a good scalp artery to a good brain artery and we essentially bypass 
the artery that's occluded at the base of his brain. We go around it. As a result of that, for instance, in Matthew's case, the moya moya vessels disappear and go away. So not only are we providing new blood supply around the occluded vessels, but we eliminate the fragile moya moya vessels that could bleed in the future. Matthew had two surgeries, one on each side, to revascularize both hemispheres of his brain. He did very well. In fact, uh, he went back to school about about a week later. Yeah, a week later. A week later, he went back to school with his uh, mm -hmm. with his scar, and uh, it was kind of like a badge of honor. All the kids went up to him and uh, and were kind of uh, admiring his uh, battle scars, if you will. And uh, he's fine. He's active. He's normal. Uh, and uh, and we can't believe it. Yeah. We're just so happy. Uh, in fact, Dr. Steinberg said his recovery was remarkable. We've been in contact with other parents who have children with Moya Moya, and uh, in in every single case, the child has had a major stroke, and we feel very strongly that. As soon as your child has been diagnosed with Moya Moya, seek help. Go to Stanford, call Stanford, uh, because you know it's, it's very possible that they're able to help your child, because they sure help Matthew. Yeah! Faster, faster! Faster, faster, faster! For more information about the Stanford Stroke Center in Stanford, California, please call area code 415-723-4448 or 723-5575. In a stroke emergency, call 911 as quickly as possible.